On The Spin today, we're discussing Mother's Day. As we all know, Mother's Day is highly celebrated in Ghana, and we're tying it in with women empowerment and women's role in government. Ladies, your take. <laughs> Interesting one there. Yeah. Well, first of all, I would love to wish um, all, all mothers, mothers in Ghana happy Mother's Day. Yay. Um, for being very supportive, mm. being the pillars of your families and all of that. So we salute mothers from all over the regions mm. across the country. Mm. Good job, mothers. That's Great. my and a special one to my mother. Happy <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mother's Day. Yes, exactly. Right. So really, I mean, women play a very important role in society. Mm. Um, and looking at this year being an election year, mm. a lot of questions coming up as to how women can play certain roles in the elections and all of that. But my take on it would be to see more women actively participate in mm. public life. Mm. So having certain positions where they could actually influence policy, which would be more representative of the society and mm. not just skewed towards a certain um, mm. dimension or mm. certain demographics of the, of, of, of the economy. So really, I would be looking out to have more women eventually participate in the public life and public policy decisions uh, mm. making. Susan. Uh, when you mean participate, what exactly do you mean? Basically, um, taking up offices um, or even contesting, because those are th that's the first point of call, if you like, when it comes to um, having certain key roles that you could actually influence policy. That is one of the reasons, that's one of the things I'm talking about, participation. Mm. So you're looking at from the local levels, even in terms of local governance, and then right up to national level governance. Well, I think women do participate and they do, but in, it's not in, as in, high in, as we would want in, to, and that's in, what I'm saying, in, that we want to see more. The, the, there may be a difference in terms of um, whether women seek higher office in politics, but in participating, they do. I mean, our history has shown us that um, in the, the independence of this country would not have gone on had it not been from the, for the women. The issue is whether um, their participation brings them to the decision-making exactly, table. Exactly, and that's what I'm so, talking about. Yeah, mm. so they do participate. Um, but is but it, is they it don't, is they don't, they don't, right. is they don't positions they don't that you could actually influence the, policy? The, well, the thing is, women tend to not to seek for political office. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a difference in just being a, a member of or an activist and mm -hmm. actually Seeking so that's what I for, want to for, see, for moving beyond for, for that. For this election, well, for, for this election, I mean, the most well, most parties course, have, of course not. Have yes, chosen yes, their, don't expect um, that you know, so um, the I numbers are what they are. I would want the, to see the numbers more. rise. The numbers right now are what they are in terms of the political parties having chosen their um, parliamentary candidates. But will we vote for them? You know, that, is, that really is the issue. And that is not just for the women, it's for the larger society. To, to say that if you don't bring women to the, 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 the decision-making table, you, you get half of what you, you, you actually require. Right. And we know that um, development um, needs every shoulder on board at that table you know, where the decision is being taken, not just as a supporter, you know, as a, 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 um, um, the ones who do the year, year, and the ones who fill the buses, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's, I think that right now we do need society to look in that direction, not just to do the talk, but walk the talk. We've seen so many of us. At least I think that Nana Kune Duachman, we have a, a female candidate mm. there, um, so that is a bright spot that in, on our ballot sheet we mm. will see one female face mm. if she is able to go through all mm. the, the the rigors that the EC demands. Well um, the argument may be made that if you don't call is there we don't know whether her party will not uh, um, will nominate her mm. again and if she will be able to go through the, the thing but otherwise well she's also um, there. W what we actually do need is women to be political extremely more women to be political not just partisan political mm. but political across board in, in 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 you know take an interest in the issues and not say that it's a dirty game it's a, it's it's too rough a game because we are a hardy species and uh, we we will definitely be able to take the game on if we want to mm, right thank you susan there Percy. anything to say about this well i i, I will take um 
the role of women to the homes mm. um, where women are homemakers um, I feel we have to take a critical look at the role that we play right from the home and how that influences society when I see society going berserk I say that some mothers have not done their jobs properly because we are all um, the outcome of our upbringing um, say for one or two um, circumstances where you have persons being raised by only men most of the time a woman has taken an active role in the raising of children who today form society so I would admonish women wherever we find ourselves as homemakers as housewives or whatever we should not trivialize what we're doing impacting into our children showing them wrong from right you know actively discussing um, nation building what is right what is wrong what they should look out for I think influencing um, society right from the homes and from child raising is very important and this Mother's Day I want to admonish all women to look at their homes carefully Hmm, beautiful. Ladies, to take it away from politics though, what do we think has been the change looking at women empowerment? As simple as a woman taking her own child to hospital and not waiting necessarily for her husband to come home before she can go. Do you think we've moved from that era where women are always waiting on the men to do something? Do you well, see I think, any change? I think there's been some drastic hmm. change, definitely, yes. Um, and, and that is attributable to a number of things. Um, hmm. You have more women now being educated mm -hmm. and for that matter having a certain um, soundness in terms of their finances because mm -hmm. mind you the reason why you would typically wait for your husband to come home to get your son or daughter to a clinic is because you're thinking about the money Fine. exactly mm -hmm. and all of that especially in a system where perhaps it's cash and carry you, mm -hmm. you dare not go there you're not going to attend to <laughs> them anyway so those are some of the issues so if indeed you, you, you see a certain increase in in level of education of women it comes with that corresponding mm. effect in, in 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 finances which mm. which which makes women really I and mean, when you're talking about empowerment of women mm. you cannot talk about it and not talk about finance because it's very thing right. and then also there are other things about skills development mm. and all of that but of course skills development for what to be economically empowered, empowered. exactly mm. so mm. at the end of the day there's that um backstopping we have to do with mm. finances mm. and and, mm. and that 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 is, that is very essential here and we've seen some increments in in that area as well which mm. and i think we see a lot of women in the labor force yes. i mean in banks mm. the very top mds backlays exactly. uba we yes. have women at the yes. helm of affairs and i think that's laudable True. as well yeah. well i mean uh, yes definitely um women have gone um, forward uh, in terms in the labor market in in education extra extra um, but um, sometimes they say the more the things change the more they stay the same mm -hmm. I mean I know that in the 2012 elections um, you know um, certain women were barred from going to vote because they were menstruating and they couldn't cross the river when you are menstruating at that time to go to a polling station mm. you know so you know, so your biological function <laughs> you know becomes a, a hindrance to, 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 to you mm. you know and this is the, the 20th century <laughs> we, we still have that and a lot of the obstacles that um, come our way as women mm -hmm. are really our socialization mm -hmm. I mean when a, a child is born there isn't much difference between a boy and a girl it is the way we are socialized you know that brings about the gender mm -hmm. you know and, 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 and the things and so and then um, for us our biological function is exaggerated you know to the extent where it becomes an obstacle mm -hmm. uh, you know for 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 us and uh, so we have moved forward <laughs> but we we still That's have to I mean, to say that, you know until recently i think people thought pregnancy was a disease and for that matter mm -hmm. if you're but pregnant you still think pregnancy is a disease yes but i think it's going down a bit yeah. now people acknowledge that the fact that you're pregnant doesn't mean exactly. 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 and here yeah, this is where i would come back on abna's um earlier comments about women participation mm. um it shouldn't just be skewed towards politics right. i mean in terms of education i mean women can take up the responsibility of educating people on social issues when you're menstruating i mean who better to talk <laughs> about these things than a woman you right. don't expect a man to be the one to mount the pulpit and start talking about how you can cross the river when you're i mean these are things that women can take take up you know and educates people so i think we are responsible for um playing that role in society as exactly. well beautiful views there anyways we're wrapping up on the mother's day and we would like to wish Ma happy mother's day to all mothers here yeah. and Yay. upcoming but mothers I'm a, let, let me, a quick one 
-hmm. The women cannot do it alone. Right. They definitely need the men mm -hmm. to do it. Keep pushing the women forward to do what they do best.